be a blowjob while you're eating pizza. That's what you apparently think. Well, here we are uh, halfway through the last season, if we want to call 6B a season. Um, episode 5. So, with uh, very little time left in uh, the show, I thought this would be a good time to do a call to action. Basically, after the series is over with, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do a deep dive on some, some of the characters in the series. Because this is a character-driven show. More than anything, it's not a plot-driven show. It's a character-driven show. It's, it's all about the characters. So, I just wanted to do a character study on some of these some of these characters. From a writing point of view, from a filmmaking point of view, just from a, a fan point of view. Uh, but who do I do it on? So, nominate your favorite character, the one you want me to do a character study on below. And whichever characters get upvoted the most will be the ones I do it on. So the nominations are good, but the upvotes are better. So go through the replies and just upvote which ones you think you know, it should be. So, and I'll just say, hey, like I said, I'm a whore. I'm basically, I'm at your service. This is my whole approach to this channel. I'm doing it for myself, but when things, when everything is, is equal, like, you know, what show to watch, what characters to talk about, what topics my videos should be on, I'm also just going with what the audience wants. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm very flexible that way. And I was that way as a filmmaker, as a collaborator, in other words. As a writer, if an actor would come to me and say, hey, what about this? I would be very open to it. So I'm a collaborator. So basically, this is a collaboration. So literally, I will I will do any character. I don't give a shit. You know, if there was a dog that had two episodes on this, I don't think there was. But if there was one, I would do character study in that motherfucker if he gets the most upvotes. So it literally doesn't matter. Now, if, you know, I don't, I don't only know about the names of like eight characters. So... You may want to be a little bit more descriptive than just a name. <laughs> Although I suppose I could Google it. Google would tell Google would tell me to put a face to a name, and I'd be like, okay, that motherfucker. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this shit. Light snoring. I don't think that Tony snores a lot. Assuming this, yeah, this is Tony. I don't believe Tony snores a lot. I believe he's a heavy snorer. Just like he's a heavy drinker, a heavy fighter, and a heavy fucker. <laughs> When I was a child, I had a fever. My I'm sure. Fell, oh, this is Pink Floyd. I know this song. This will have something uh, thematically relevant to the plot of this episode. What are you doing up so early? <laughs> yeah, that's a shock. I'm asleep. <laughs> this song, bitch. It's when the dog doesn't eat. <laughs> I know this is hard for you to believe, but food may not be the answer to every problem. Well, no was shit. like a whiny little bitch. Tony ain't trying to, yeah, oh, Tony ain't trying to hear that fucking food that will solve your problems. It's better to have loved and lost, AJ. Uh, I don't agree with what? that. What? It is. It is not better to have loved and lost. Loving and losing sucks ass. It's not better. You know, bad for me. What the fuck? Why are you know, taking right? out on us? Yeah, he's being a disrespectful dick. As usual. Whisper six. Two hundred. Sold. Mike, you got that? The Makita. <laughs> Damn, what is this? It's are they fencing some shit? You know about that ticket? Squash. Forget it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> my little girl. Squash that ticket, Good. asshole. You coming? Yes, yeah, for you. So you find yeah, all taste. Yeah. Good business, man. You ain't seen this many cops lined up since the centennial of Duncan. <laughs> Come on, Andy, man. That's not racist. What is that? Uh, stereotypical? I don't know. There's got to be a word when you stereotype people that's not bigot or racist. Whatever it is, he's at. <laughs> You're going to jinx me. Toast for water. Club soda. Really? What's your problem? You got the problem, my friend. Damn. You're a real fucking drip like when I was using, I was a disgrace. Now I'm sober and I'm a drip. The fuck you that's, want? I mean, me? look, I don't like Chris. You know that, but this is bullshit, man. I don't get comfy. I'm breaking balls. <laughs> I don't know, man. The, whole, the way he breaks balls, I ain't with it. Look, you know me. I fucking hate Chrissy. I want him to die. But until he dies, respect his sobriety, you fucking assholes. Jesus. What are you watching? Your cholesterol now, too? Yeah. Look, I mean, I like the way he gets his crazy ass. <laughs> Dick. What hey, fresh show is this going to be? Listen, my first assignment out of the academy was in Brooklyn. Never cared for him. Yeah, tried fuck to shut up this other room. If I was to know something possibly ever related... Wait, he's snitching? Yeah. Tony is snitching. Could I bank the result in goodwill? 
this letter be placed in your file, and if you were ever convicted of a crime, it would be presented to a judge when uh, he or she would be uh, considering sentencing guy. I don't know. That sounds kind of weak to me. I need more than that. Whatever a couple of guys. I don't know. He's still going to snitch. It's your business with him. At the port? You were saying? Shut the, the fuck up, minion. To be over. That was the shut the fuck up, minion hand here. sign. And I mean, it's illegal there, right? What were they doing? Minion, did you speak again? Are you serious? I don't know. It seemed, uh... You, uh... Got seemed terror-ish. <laughs> you dick. Jamali, uh, Man, you got nothing. You don't even know their fucking names. He was putting away his fucking notebook. He's like, you got, you got shit. <laughs> Ahmed and Muhammad. Man, those are common ass names. You no, know, actually, I got a cell number. Ahmed Al Najaf. Okay, that's a little bit better. See, they can do something with that shit. Thank you. Snitching ass motherfucker. Snitching ass motherfucker. Goes against everything he stands for. Unbelievable. Look, I'm judging him by his own judgment, right? That's the only way you can judge anybody, really. I mean, there's certain base-level judgments you can make. Like, you know, somebody kicking a dog, I don't give a fuck what their beliefs are. You know, I'm judging. And other more horrible shit that won't be named, right? But once we get above that, if somebody has a core belief, you need to judge them by that what their core belief is. Or you, you judge them as hypocrites, is what I'm saying. Even if it ain't my own core belief. I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying, though. Like, you judge people by their own beliefs. And that's what I'm doing here. Snitching ass motherfucker! So much. Don't worry, we didn't miss anything. Fucking AJ's work. just talking to his side Stop. piece. So. You're embarrassing me. Jesus, dude. Or should I, not really side piece. That's the wrong terminology. It should be, we should call that a reject piece. He was talking to his reject piece. Early, we, uh... Go back to your place, Christian knows no sheets you were telling me about. You piece of shit. Yeah, it's a plan, huh? People are telling me he's got an arrangement. Like, you know, Hillary and Bill Clinton had an arrangement where he's allowed to fuck as long as he don't embarrass her. Tony's got an arrangement, right? But still, I don't like it. I am worried, Tony. I have never seen him like this. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe we get an AJ centric ass plot. I am afraid to leave him alone. Afraid? Why? Will you just come home, please? Man, he's fucking working, man. What do you mean, come home? What is AJ, 20 years old? Dude, you're a man. And by that, I mean an adult. I'm not talking about massaging or sick shit, right? Blanca still. Ain't nothing changed, motherfucker. All right, that's it. You're not sure enough. Get Look, your I'm ass I'm fucking up. depressed, okay? This kid's a mess, man. Look, he's not evil, right? So, what like, you going for? What you feel? I just think he's weak. But he's not evil. Like, I don't want him to die. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. I'm I'm sorry he's in pain. You know what I'm saying? I, it's just hard to have sympathy for him because he's fucking weak. But we could, that lands on Tony, man. He didn't re give him the coping skills he needed to deal with shit like this. He is so woefully incapable of dealing with a situation like this. It's pathetic. It's pathetic how bad he is at dealing with this. Tony, I'm talking about now. I'm talking about Tony now. You're handsome and smart and a hard he is handsome. A little short, I think. It's hard to tell. Let's be honest, so fucking tall. White, a he's a little short, but he's right? handsome. Decently good health, you know? Good shape, I mean. I don't want a blowjob. Keep your voice down. <laughs> uh, who's listening out there? Nobody. Oh, fuck well, okay. me. <laughs> you saw her again, didn't you? Dude, like, he was hand on it, and you fucking come storming in here and ruin everything. I mean, he did try. I'll give him that. But Tony's just completely incapable of dealing with this. Why were you outside the door, motherfucker? Honestly, I was glad when they broke up. The culture divide. Yeah, you know? that's just your racism. Tony and Tony's the shit. Yeah. <laughs> now, believe me, I'd like to. But I don't. It's not that simple. I'll make it simple. I mean, it's it a is, disease. He is simple. I inherited like it. You know the problem with... I can't believe I'm on Chrissy's side this episode, man. People are just being dicks, man. This whole disease concept. I think it's bullshit. Of course. So you know more than the leading scientists. I know yeah, a fuck yeah, exactly. Seen. So my dad, <laughs> I mean, the Coke, the vodka, whatever the fuck else he was squirting up his arm. Don't be talking Let's bad be about your dad. Let's be honest about the great Dicky Malta son. And I'm here my for dad, it. your hero. Like I said, I want Chrissy to die. I want Chrissy's ass kicked. But 
just respect your sobriety. That's my line. But now this has gone beyond. Now you're talking shit about your dad. So that's not, you know, nothing to do with your sobriety at that point. Oh, fucking move. Whoa, whoa, oh, shit. whoa, whoa. Really? Easy, easy. What the fuck is going on? He was supposed to call you. You fucking believe get, this? Get Paulie on the phone, man. Goddamn. I wonder if that's on the up and up. I don't know. I'm dubious. How you doing? Well, oh, this always helps. Yeah, I bet it does. Ooh. It always helps. God bless the NFL. I guess he's off his losing streak. Thank God, because he's a dick. <laughs> no breaking balls uh, etiquette is very. It's very complicated. If the wrong person laughs at the wrong time, you can get his face split open. If you don't laugh, you might get your split face split open. Hey, how's Angel doing? Good, good. He's working. Broke up with that girl. Not anymore. His, with his quick ass. Spanish check tells me you booked a party here next week. Yeah, yeah. It's our friend. You should call AJ. He's probably busy, but I know I'd love to see you guys. Yeah, yeah sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, now, see, that's how you help him out. Get him with his friends. His friends are more capable of helping him. And I've been dealing with Al for two days. Just tell him to relax. So he did forget. They the call. busted into his store. His acid reflux is acting up. He woke up, Kelly, got her all upset. It's my fault your father in law's a crybaby? <laughs> hey, tell him I you know, and I know, they were there to boost that shit. <laughs> Go away, okay? I promised to load to Lenny down the joint for this union. And what do I give a fuck? It ain't my union. Oh, your boys. I got neighbors. Fuck your neighbors. When you're going to pay me? Fuck when you suck the money He'll out of my you. ass. Now get the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him fuck you up. He ain't got a painting of you on the wall, bitch. <laughs> when you suck money out of my ass. Man, that is unbelievable. We're in the middle of talking about an ongoing, potentially multi-million dollar proposition here. Chris. Yeah, you're talking about some it bullshit. Ain't the money, Tone. Oh, really? Well, I'm <laughs> Power the drills. You believe this shit? Go have a live Ricky or whatever the fuck it is you're drinking these days. <laughs> and wait a few minutes. The disrespect. You get it, all right? I got other shit to do. Well, then why'd you come storming in here, bitch? It, he's out. Get his ass out of here. What's the problem? Oh, wait. Meadow's still on the show. What? Oh. I know he's upset, but he's been saying some things that are really disturbing. Like what? Yeah, you should check his Twitter account. He blocked you guys. He don't want you to see the shit. But just go under his assumed name. No, of course not. I'm glad you said something. Come on. Good night, sweetie. Again, snitching. Of course, very understandable snitching under these circumstances. But still, where's your code at? <laughs> Need to get this motherfucker some sleeping pills or something. Man. God damn. I came here today to tell you, in all seriousness, that I'm done. This is a good way to end this. Once and for all, it's over. Cool. The truth is, this therapy is a jerk off. Agreed. You know it. You waste your time. You wouldn't be in there seven years. Three, four, maybe five years at the max. It's talking suicide. So now I'm trapped here forever. <laughs> You're such a dick. Carmelo's getting a referral from his old pediatrician. Oh. After that incompetent you said Meadow to? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're. we don't trust you anymore, is what I'm saying. He's such a dick. Ask her for the skills you need to talk to your fucking son, asshole. Fucking grilling about how I feel about all this. Isn't that why you're here? No, it's not how, about how he feels about it. It's what should he say to this dumbass? That's what you need to talk to her about. Please? I know what I see. My son curled up on the couch in a fetus position when he should be out banging coins. Have you talked oh, to him? Till I'm blue in the face. We both yeah, have. you weren't very blue, man. You talked to him until you had a light rosy color to your cheeks. At the most, a light rosy color. That That's the maximum you did, motherfucker. Your kids don't. You look at his eyes. It looks like he's been crying. I don't know what the it's hell like, the actor did to his eyes to make it look like that, but sick. it's incredible, man. He probably put something like onions or something, you know? To trade places with him. Or so maybe this is the suffer. third or fourth take, right? Something. But, like, the, the dudes are fucking Anything you're the cause of it. My rotten fucking putrid genes have infected my kid's soul. No self-hatred here, of course. Really? Because I got to be honest, I think it fucking sucks. What does? Therapy. This. I hate therapy this Therapy ain't supposed shit. to be fun, asshole. You think therapy's supposed to be a blowjob while you're eating pizza. 
That's what you apparently think. It's supposed to be difficult. Jesus. I, I can't figure out if the, if the character doesn't understand therapy or if the writers don't understand therapy. I'm prone to think it's the writers. Because they write, they're terrible at writing her, too, you know. I mean, the writers are so good at understanding every single other aspect of life, characterization, everything. The writers are fucking brilliant, man. Therapy is their blind spot. My boss, you know, for all his bullshit encouragement, how he respects what I'm doing, the reality is he resents my sobriety. This is 1%, 100% true. 1%. I'd have more money in my pocket, plus more responsibility, if I sat with him drinking, watching that scotch drool out of his fat fucking mouth. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> I just, this is so fucking weird. I like this, Chrissy. I think it's the fact that just I hate anybody who's going to, like, hold up or slow down or somehow block, obstruct a person's sobriety. Because I'm a big believer in, like, you know, Dad, you know, he was sober for 40 years. I would have beat somebody's ass if they tried to get in the way of his sobriety. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably what that's triggering to me. Oh, that's a new one. John Wayne. He would like a John Wayne movie. 